Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Forgive me if you don't see me here in this video, mainly because there is a renovation going on beside us. So I have a bunch of plants over here. Got my pothos, my raffidophore tetrasperma, my monstera deliciosa, and also some of uh, my um, anthurium one, which is the green mamba and also my Syngonium podophyllum albo. So these plants are living in love rock and pumice. And as you may know, I've been using this substrate since last year and I have a good result from it. So this one here, I'm gonna show you one example is my silver one. And this is a type of pothos. I got this one two leaves from indonesia and i propagated in the water and then transferred it in here it's pretty good guys because i've seen good result from it it's really successful i don't have any problem when it comes to root rot and any pest which i'm very happy with it the catch is you have to water it as often as you can I'm not talking about every single day, but at least have um, watered it, you know, twice or thrice a week just to make sure that it's not dehydrating <laughs> the plant. So here I just watered it the other day and as you guys can tell, I still have a lot of water because this um, substrate will really hold good moisture good water it retains good water rather because the pumice and love rock has good pores on it and as you can tell in this one this is my exotica uh, some of the stem i've grown it without any leaf at all and they are growing pretty well in here the roots are crazy on top and this about i'd say i'd say about a month and also this one here as well you know propagation is one way to multiply your plants if you have a plant that's growing pretty well you can always do cuttings and then throw it in the water or any specific or preference propagation methods you want to use you can do a bunch and you guys know what are they but the basic one is water they will do well in the water so this one here is my again silver that i got from indonesia this one is together with the one i showed you at first and it's pretty well in here compared to the soil that i placed in before so this one here is my Syngonium podophyllum and my I actually mixed it with the uh, mojito one so I have the mojito and then at the same time the albo in here and they are doing well you guys in love rock and pumice so yeah guys I chopped some of my plants and then decided to place it in love rock and pumice right away and pretty good I don't have any problem the leaves are still the same from the time that I cut it from the mother plant. And this is my anthurium. If you guys are following me on my Instagram, you see that I posted my inflorescence for this one. But I decided to remove it because it's taking the energy from the leaf that it's growing. And... All of the leaves here are still the same. I just removed the, f the one leaf that it came in like a year ago from Indonesia. And it was really small. And this one is giving me huge leaves now because, you know, it's been in my care for quite some time. And also, the substrate, you guys, as you can see, that's a beautiful root. And I'm really happy because it's not giving me any root rot or any discoloration on the leaves. So this is my Monstera Deliciosa that I got from Ecuador as well from Tropicals. 
and this one i accidentally snapped it and put a, a tape on it which it's still working i mean it's still growing so this is the new leaf and if you want to ask if it's going to survive in this substrate yes you guys look at that root it's pretty healthy compared if you put it in the soil you know into the uh, coco core and uh, perlite that i had it before so pretty much that's all i wanted to share you guys how my plants are growing in lava rock and pomace because now these days it's hard to find the lechuza pond i've tried many times to buy on um, their website but it's almost you know impossible to get a hand of it you have to wait it's either out of stock or you have to wait so again another show off of my beautiful anthurium green mamba and that's the beautiful leaf don't mind about the little dots on top and in the bottom and this is my mojito it's a pretty huge one and showing you a bunch of texture of this plane and that's all guys i hope you like this video if you have any questions just shoot me a message or comment down below bye for now guys and see you on my next video